Hello, I pray that you are well today. The Word of God, we continue in Romans chapter 12, but we're going to take the verses before what we've been reading. We've been reading from Romans 12 verses 9 through 21. We're going to read this section right before it. For by the grace given me, verse 3, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. Do you have a realistic view of yourself? Do you think about yourself in a way that's accurate, that's fair, that's right, that's true? God says, for by the grace given to me, given to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought. There's so much of our life that really the only reasonable response is humility. It is. It would be so great if we actually knew all the answers. It'd be so great if we can orchestrate situations, but we really can't. And we ought not therefore think of ourselves more highly than we ought. Why does that happen? Because we're insecure. We wonder about our value. Can I say to you directly, you are valued by God. You don't need to evaluate yourself negatively. You don't need to compare yourself to other people. It says, don't think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. We're all different. And humility says, God, I have strengths and I have weaknesses and I'm trying to give you my very best. He goes on. For just as each of us has one body with many members. In other words, we have one body, but we have hands and ears and nose. We have one body, many members. And all these members don't have the same function. They are different. So it is with Christ. So in Christ, we, though many, form one body. Each member belongs to all the others. In other words, we have different functions, but we are connected and we belong to each other that we don't have the ability to be independent. We're not an island, so to speak. He goes on specifically. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. We have different gifts. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. Then whatever gift you've been given, use that gift. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is show mercy, do it cheerfully. So it isn't just the gift, but it's the attitude about the gift that matters. We have different gifts. What's your gift? And our gifts are other-centered, and our gifts are to be done to the glory of God and our, our gifts are to be blessed by God for other people's purposes. Let me just focus on Romans 12, verse eight. If it's to encourage, then give encouragement. If you have been given the gift of encouragement, then do so. If it's giving, give generously. If you've been given much to give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. Now, I'm not going to suggest that I'm a leader, but I'm in a leading position. I have a, I, I'm responsible for situations. So God says to me, if that's your gift, do it diligently. Don't let up. Do the next right thing. Do it diligently. And if it is to show mercy, show mercy cheerfully. For he says, for by grace, I say to every one of you, don't think of yourself more highly than you ought. Please pray with me. Lord God, may we see ourselves both individually and connected. May we see ourselves as those who bless others by the blessings you have given. Bless us this day that we in humility may give all glory to you by doing whatever we can to encourage one another. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today. Thank you very much for your generosity that we have the opportunity to bless other people. God bless you.